Right. I'm just going to do a video on testing showers. This is my new job. I start on Monday. <laughs> so I've been practicing. I used to do it years ago, but I've been practicing because I forgot everything. But it's pretty easy how to test these showers. Mainly just need continuity. This one's a bit more difficult because it's got a circuit board in it. It's also got another circuit board on the front face, but that's just on and off. So basically, that's your solenoid. That stops the water from coming in. So the pressure comes in, turns it on, turns the solenoid on, it allows water into the heater. So basically, the first thing you want to test is that. It should be around about 4 ohms. Well, 3.7, something like that. 3.7 kilo ohms, sorry. Put seven kilo ohms, that's a perfect reading for one of them. Water comes up here then through this valve, which is like a it's just basically like a tap that lets more water through or less to control the time that it's in the heater. So basically if you're having flow problems, it could be that. You have to strip it out, change the valves and that inside, while any o-rings, clean it out. But also there's a gauze. I don't know if you can see it in there. That can block up and cause flow problems as well. So anyway, that's your pressure switch that turns on and off. Normally there's a switch that you can test on here, but it's built into the board on this one. So the next thing I'd test on this would be this. Which is the thermal cutoff. This is one of the main things that can go wrong on these. So you just touch it across, make sure you get a reading. It doesn't really matter what the reading is as long as it's close to zero. You just put it on continuity if you want. That tells me that's all right. I've actually got another one of them down here. This is similar, it's a cut off. So well, that's your outlet cut off. Check the wiring. So the wiring's getting to the board. So is the neutral. And then you can test your two elements. You've got two heater elements on this. Should be around about 11. So that's 12 ohms, and the bottom one is 15 ohms. I'm covering it over, sorry. So the bottom one, about 16, top one, 12. Both different sizes. So that's about it electrically. Basically you test the solenoid, check that if you've got flow problems, your pressure switch to make sure it's coming on and off, but this is board controlled. Your two heating elements and the wiring going to it and the two cut-off switches. They all test it out, so this is fine. If I was having problems with this now, I'd be changing the board or looking at the board. There's a lot of things on that board though, so but you can test all the diodes down the side. You just put it into diode mode, which is that. You should get a reading one way and not the other. So I'm getting 0 0.6, flip them around, and nothing. And I'm on it. Ooh. 
so I'm on it and it's naught. So you got loads of them, loads of diodes, resistance is easy, just own check them, resistors, this is probably a capacitor. Four hundred seventy nanofarad, so you just check that. But I'll just try that now. Put it into capacitance. There. Really hard to get to it. Saying 0 0.685. It's supposed to be 470. So I'll take that out of the board and have a test of it outside the board because it's probably getting different measurements. There's another one here. That's closer to his reading. But basically I'll take that board out and have a good check of it while it was out. I'd also clean up the relay contacts and probably test them by putting power to it and making sure they're opening and closing. Best to take that board out though but I ain't going to do that. That's it really.